Hi guys, welcome to Heel and Toe and welcome to the start of my track tool series where I basically want to tell you uh, about my journey of building a track tool and hope that you can maybe learn a few things. There is no right and wrong. Um, I'm just going to try some things. I've already done a few things. Um, I'm going to just give you a quick walk around of my car and what I've done to it and what's to come. This is just going to be a quick walk around introduction. Future videos will be focusing on specific things such as suspension and brakes, engine interior, all in separate videos. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Basically, the idea of this build is to stay within a budget, meaning not to go all out. It's easy to buy the best of the best, pay someone to install it and have a fast car. However, I don't have the money to do that, plus I actually like lying under the car and tinkering around with things. Ultimately, I like the idea of making a car quite fast without spending bucket loads of money and I think so far it's going quite well with my E46. This is a 1998 E46 BMW 328i. It has a 2.8 liter straight six engine with 193 horsepower. Uh, manual transmission, rear wheel drive of course. Unfortunately it has an open differential. Um, the engine at the moment is completely stock. The suspension is a KW variant 3 with club sport camera plates on top. Then we've got iBuff anti-roll bars, front and rear. Uh, on the rear we have the subframe reinforcement kit from Epitech. We've got a different rear exhaust muffler which just helps for a bit with the sound. Let's go to the front axle. We've got the brakes from a 330i uh, E46 which increases the disc size by 25 mm opposed to the normal discs. I've got the Hagit RS29 pads, um, steel braided brake lines and a uh, racing brake fluid which just increases the boiling temperature a bit. Tires are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, which I'm extremely happy with. A 225, 45, 17 square setup all the way around, which makes it pretty affordable. This set actually cost me just under 500 euros, which is pretty good for a semi slick tire. Then going around to the interior, um, haven't done much at the moment. I have a Recaro pole position uh, seat, bucket seat, Alcantara steering wheel, uh, M gear knob, and that is pretty much it. Then underneath the gear knob is a shorter uh, shift stick which just makes the throw a little bit shorter because when I bought this car it was completely stock and it was pretty much a grandpa car and a sleeper car and the gears were super long, it was a bit like rowing. Uh, let's go to the back. For I do still use this car as a daily so I don't want to make it into a hardcore track tool. I want to keep it clean and clean and keep it uh, a bit of a club sport car. So when I'm driving daily, I do keep the rear seats in, but for track days, I remove the rear seats, which saves about 50 kilos, I believe, and it's one bolt. Um, then on the front and rear, we have strap bars, which just generally help a bit against the body roll, just like the Eibach anti-roll bars. And otherwise, exterior is pretty much stock. I added the slip, which is original. The front bumper is a M Sport 1 bumper. Um, which I specifically chose because it has the big round uh, fog lights which are removed for brake cooling. But again, I will go into detail with all of this stuff specifically in separate videos, so um, stay tuned. Uh, I hope you enjoy the series, I hope you can learn some things. If you have any questions, please post them down below. I'll try to answer them in future videos. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the series, I hope you enjoy the journey, and I will hopefully be taking you onto some track day soon. Thanks.